for there and welcome to Air Hoarder with me Stocko Gloss. This is um, a little bit different to the uh, other Air Hoarders on the channel. Uh, this is using X-Plane <laughs> um, and I'm just as bad as X-Plane as I was in FSX. Uh, to be honest I'm probably worse in X-Plane. I tried hooking up my uh, uh, my X52 CTIC, um controller joystick and, and the rev <laughs> throttle thingy and no it is so difficult to uh, <laughs> to sort out so um, I'm back to my trusty um, Logitech Extreme 3D Pro um, so we'll have to see how we do with that one so let's uh, let's start our new company uh, what's our company going to be called Stoko Airways I think uh, capital A there we go uh, enter your name yeah, Stoko Gloss uh, to this box you're using air hauler no, uh, on a network no we're not ok so next uh, please enter the path oh I've got to do this have I right um, it's actually on the desktop um, where are you explain uh, I'm going to do 32 bit because the air hauler likes 32 bit there we go um, we're going to start um, I think I'm gonna go hard or career. Uh, probably go career because the <laughs> the only plane I could fly is a Cessna. I've tried the King Air and I tried the Avanti and <laughs> it's quite difficult. Actually, flying it isn't so bad. It's just using the um, um, the <laughs> what am I trying to say? The sat nav. Um, yeah, the 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 Garmin thingy uh, on those two is, is really difficult with the Cessna I kind of know what I'm doing with the Cessna so let's uh, let's do a career hey eh? it's, it's a bit difficult but uh, um, oh you sure want to use career difficult you won't be able to lease aircraft into your reputations over 50% so be careful if you sell your C172 early in your career okay no problem let's uh, let's go hardcore uh, real weather real fuel prices yep yeah, no worries brilliant um, this is my second recording of this. The first recording was terrible. I <laughs> um, know oh <laughs> it's actually, actually worse than this one. So let's um, United Kingdom. Uh, we're going to go in Gloucester again, which is E G B J. There you go. Uh, open the base here. Congratulations! You open your base in Gloucestershire. Okay. Your next payment of five thousand is due on the seventh of July. Now this is real time, peeps. So I've got to keep playing this game uh, to keep paying the rent. Uh, job distance we want uh, fairly short. Um, uh, there, number of jobs as many as possible. Airport size we we'll put in the middle. There we go. Welcome aboard. That's it. Welcome to your company. You start your new company with a Cessna one set. Excuse me, one seven two aircraft. You can find it in your fleet roster. Pre uh, press let's go to go to the job board. Generating jobs. Yeah. So uh, yeah, this is slightly different to. Uh, to the air hauler on, on FSX. Actually, no, it's exactly the same. It's just that this talks to X plane where the other air hauler wouldn't. So make sure you buy the right air hauler for the right f uh, flight sim that you've got. Okay, so you can see all our jobs there. Let's uh, put this in order. We can start seeing some of the jobs that we've got. Staple for distance is 87, so that's not too bad. Um, how much are you getting paid for that? 3,000. Oh, that 5,000 there. Goes to London. Oh, beef. There we go. Uh, 415 and we've got a time there it's delivery in 55 hours we've got to fly to London so we've got quite a bit of time to uh, to do this job um, yeah well if you do that one it's gonna actually pay for us uh, for our rent for the first month you know and everything on top of that should be should be money in our pocket I got money in my pocket and I just can't get no love um, Benbridge which is right on the coast that's 528. I think we're going to go to London. And let's check out. Uh, is it this one? No, it's that one there. Okay, so we'll accept this job. Uh, accept job. Accept the job? Yes. Job accepted and added to your, your My Jobs list. Okay, so this is our, our jobs list here. Um, and there's the information uh, of where we're going. So we're carrying some beef. Uh, we're going 86 nautical miles. Um, 
yeah what I want to do really is insure my aircraft I didn't insure it last time it cost a fortune so let's insure it uh, that's 1000 yeah we'll take it policy our aircraft is insured brilliant um, the fuel capacity 314 uh, cargo capacity is 595 the range is 400 okay uh, hopefully <laughs> Hang on, I'm just thinking 515 is the weight of the beef. Um plus we need a bit of uh, a bit of fuel, so I don't know if we're gonna actually gonna make it. I hope so. Um okay, let's uh, fly selected job ourselves. Let's load up the beef. Uh see how much fuel we can put. Uh, endurance. Oh 303 nautical miles, so we've just got enough. So we just need to be a bit careful of that. Um because if you take something which is uh, too heavy, then you know we're gonna be losing money. But um yeah, 303 nautical miles, we should be okay with that. The fuel has been loaded by the grain crew. Brilliant. Uh, you can see it starting up uh, X-Plane 10, uh, the 32-bit, which is great, because uh, Air Hauler looks the 32-bit. I don't think it makes too much difference in the um, in the graphics of the uh, of the game. I can run the 64-bit, because my, my, um, my system is 64. Okay, so... Now this is the thing which really annoys me. Um, it's choo it's chosen Durham T's Valley, so you've got to choose the EGBJ, Gloucester. We've got the Cessna. Okay, so then we can flow these options. Every sometimes it it, it selects it itself, and sometimes you just got to select it. Um, you just got to be a little bit careful with that. Uh, flow these options. There we go. So we're on version 10.25, um, and I'll probably pause the uh, loading screen for you. We're here. Now you can see um, it's uh, this is the you know the the view where uh, you can't really do anything. If you go to the 3D cockpit, you can see there that we can uh, let's go a little bit higher. We can zoom out, can we? No. There we go. So this is uh, Staverton, this is my local uh, airport. Yeah. I've put the frames a second so you can see the frames. We're looking around at 30 frames a second. Um, I normally get uh, around about 60 frames a second, so I'm not quite sure why I only get 30. So, uh, right, okay. Now, it's a bit of a warning for you people who's watching this. I can't, I don't know how to use the ATC. I think I can call up the ATC. But, um, there we go. I can follow the flight plan. Uh, so I depart EGBJ um, and arrive. I, I can't remember what the arrival thing was. So uh, that's a problem. Let's have a look. I can find out. I'll be back in a second once I figure out where we're going. We're going to um, EGLC. So uh, let's try and follow that flight plan. Nothing really happens when I do this. E C uh, E G L C. There we go. File. There we go. We filed it, but no one's talking to me. I've got no idea. I probably have to figure out how to uh, like play around with these knobs on here, but uh, I'm not quite sure how to do that. But the first thing I'm going to do, which I kind of do know how to do, Ooh. is um, import where we're going. So let's do that. London City. Okay, so that's where we're going. Um, there we go, input. Uh, so, I think there's a button to press, isn't there, for the nav? I think I've pressed it. There's a director button or something, an auto flight. There we go. Okay, so I think that's the nav setup. I think. Um, I don't know how to change the altitude. Um, like, I don't know. I think you just get to a certain altitude yourself, and then you click on that, and then it, it kind of selects it. So there's just no way of uh, 
increase in the altitude on this thing. So that should be fun. Um, okay, I think that's set. I think we're ready to go. Um, got no passengers at the moment. We've, we're only carrying beef, but there's a bag of beef there. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, place your co-pilot instruments here. We have, we're so poor we've got no co-pilot instruments. We don't need to. It's just ourselves, isn't it? Alright, I think we're uh, we're good to go. Okay. Um, this should be fun. Right, let's increase the speed. Release the brakes. Taxi and take off. Ah, this is going to go terrible. What's going on? Something's disconnected. AP. We've disconnected the AP. Put the AP back in. Oh, wow, this is uh. Watch the deep in. Okay, we're okay. We're okay now. We're okay. There's a little bit of uh. deep in going on. We're in the green. Just um. Let's get high. <laughs> En route, fly this sector and land to destination. Okay. Whoa, 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 okay. I'm fighting against the, uh, the autopilot, I think, so let's just turn that, that thing on just for the time being. Uh, I didn't lower any flaps uh, on takeoff, because uh, I think I've been told that you don't need to. Um, okay, so I think. Not sure what's going on here. Altitude select at 660. So let's just keep going higher. I want to get to around about 5,000 feet. Um, we're worried about where we're going after. <laughs> let's just get high. Let's just get. Uh, got the throttle on full. I think we're really heavy. I think that's what the game is taking into consideration that we're like fully laden. I'm just trying to keep it straight ish. Make sure we're still climbing like a thousand feet. You can see we're going like really slow. Yeah, I've got on full throttle. I wish they'd stop deep in. I've probably done something wrong. We'll have a look how pretty this game is in a minute. Let me just get uh, fairly at least 2,000. Let's get to 2,000, and uh, we should be okay. Like I say, I tried putting the um, filing the, the float plan, but I don't, there hasn't been any difference. No idea what's beeping. No idea what's beeping right now. I think I just got to turn, the, turn this off. Up. Rising. Rise me up. It's a flying right now. We're going very, very slow. Yeah, this is uh this plane is really struggling. I don't know whether it's the wind, the the, the weather. Are we going straight into the wind maybe? I don't know. Tilt it towards the side. We're coming up to need two phase. That's nearer the side. I know London's south of Gloucester, so. Um, still climbing around 2000. Alright, this is quite difficult. Oh, you guys are proud of me. Now, I should have put a little disclaimer in saying that if you want somebody to teach you how to play this game, I am really not the person. Whoa! You take your eye off that instrument in the middle. You know, the funny blue thing and the grey. Okay, so let's uh, let's turn this back on. Um, put that on. Now it should... No, it's just going to crash into the ground. It's got a hole. Oh 
it does that sometimes. It does break. Flap failure. So I've got flat with flaps on It goes grey sometimes, and then it'll, there we go, it'll change. Um, I've got no flaps down, I don't know why my flaps are failing. But uh, yeah, this is uh, Stocko Cessna 172. That was really bad takeoff, I think. It wasn't, that wasn't that great. Um, right, let's get back into the cockpit. When it was going, okay, we're... Well, something's changed because our airspeed is like really quick. <gasps> Did I hit the flaps down by accident? I might have uh, Is that the flaps or just. Okay, I'll get a pressing one button on the flaps. Oh, no, that's the flap flap. Yeah, there's the flaps. Okay. Okay, I got the wrong button. Right, that's the button for the flaps. Here you can see a little map. There we go. There we go. Zoom out. There's where we're going. Now I don't know how to make this bigger. Now I've looked at my view. There is no, um, you know, get your GPS out uh, unless anybody knows where the GPS button is. I have no idea. Now you can see on the local map where we are. So we've kind of gone a little bit wobbly, and uh, it looks like we're back on track. Um, this is like a detailed map. I, 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 don't, I, I don't know whether this is a Google map, you know, um, but uh, it looks fairly detailed. So there, and there we are there. Head in 115, altitude 2,000 feet, speed 128. Uh, okay, and climb angle, we've got no climb angle because we're going level. But um, there's no little GPS button, which I'm really... Uh, I really get it for. If there's one thing on here that I need, really needed, it would be a, a, a little GPS button. <laughs> so if somebody could help me out with that, that would be great. Um, and there you go. We'll continue our flight. We're in the air. That's the main thing. And we're in many. You know, as long as we're in the air, we're in move. Wow. I think I might have uh, damaged the flaps. Uh, I think the flaps are down. Hence the reason why we was only going like 40, you know, 40 knots. Yeah, we're going a lot faster now. But, yeah. Like I said, I'm not here to uh, teach you guys how to play this. It's actually the exact opposite. You know, I want you guys to teach me how to play this. <laughs> um, I did ask a question. I said, look, do you want to get better at this and then uh, maybe put some videos up? And, uh, oh, sorry, I'm sip a drink. Um, and you guys, no, 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 we want to see you play it, we want to see you play it. So, here it is. Uh, I'll show you my settings. Rendering options. Okay, so I've got it on stream resolution. Um, everything's on high. Uh, it, it runs pretty good on this uh, on this uh, rendering setting. So uh, you can actually fast forward the game. It took me a while to figure out how to do that, but uh, you can do that in the map. Um, yeah. Uh, planet map. I haven't tried that one yet. Weather. What is the weather like? Oh, the weather looks awful, doesn't it? Now this is real weather from the meteor meteor rwx from the net. Uh, so the weather looks uh, pretty pretty stonking at the moment. Um, so there we go. I don't really know what to do with this weather report. Now it'd be nice if we had a, a nice little um, key. You know, so green is bad. You know, and grey is good. Uh, dark grey is is brilliant. I don't know. 
but it looks like we're going to be flying underneath the clouds anyway. There was thunder this morning. Oh gosh, put me up here. It's uh, really loud. So uh, yeah, this is X plane. It, uh, it definitely takes uh, takes stock. You see, my CPU is like not even uh, under load really. Point nine load. It, um, it uses every single core on the, you know, on the processor. It uses all your RAM and uh, the full thing on your graphics card. So um, you know, I think it says in the settings somewhere uh, in the rendering. Oh, that's a joystick. Stay away from that. that, that that's the devil. <laughs> the rendering option. There you go. G470. Yeah. It, so it, it uh, renders using your uh, using your graphics card. Um, so we've got over a thousand. You know, just 1100 meg of uh, stuff that it needs to process with my current settings but that's fine I think the, the uh, 780's got 3 gig I believe so we're under the uh, maximum settings of the graphics card but uh, you see it still runs runs okay nice steady 30 frames a second everyone's happy um, yeah but oh look at the air bloom Oh, it's an Apple Air Balloon. There we go. I suppose we can decrease the speed just a little bit. It's all grey and miserable. Uh, I can't believe I broke my flaps. Uh, so yeah, I kind of really need to know how to use this thing. Um, that's my uh, my biggest problem is is how to use this. And I think there's a way of there's another way of. But um, yeah. at least I know we're online, um, and then we've got this little GPS little uh, thing up here in the corner, which says um, my distance, so I know how far away I am. Um, where's my fuel gauge? Got my fuel. No, I think that's the RPM. Fuel. There we go. So we got. Uh, not full, which is, you know, worrying, but we're above there. <laughs> to be honest, I don't have a clue what I'm talking about. I'm in a plane that I've never been in real life, and this game is really realistic as well. You know, you thought Flight Simulator X was bad, but this game just, uh, just trumps it. Um, let's have a look outside. I do like this little plane. It's got like a black table and screen. Very gangster. Um, there's just loads of fields, isn't there? Uh, when you go through a city, you can see uh, all the roads and the cars and stuff. It does look pretty cool. Um, I don't think we're actually going past any city. Well, there's a city over there. Let's find out where that is. Let's go on the local map. Okay, it looks to be uh, that city there, which is Oxford, I guess. So we might be flying over Oxford. That'd be, uh, that'd be pretty cool. Now you can actually um, increase the speed. I'll show you how to do that. Actually, I was in the right place. Local map. Uh, you can choose the uh, two-speed track, and it'll give you two times two over the uh, the grain speed. So there we go. And then also you can is it Control T? There we go. And then you can go Control T again, and basically it'll go as fast as your PC can run with these rendering options. So you can see we're going fairly quick.
we're in the air. I think the favourite bit is the landing, isn't it? So I think I'll probably uh, probably fast forward this. Uh, well, not too fast, but just enough. Another little city. There should be a city. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, don't look too great to be honest. I've seen better. There's, a, there's the. Uh, I think that's uh, Bryce Norton. And uh, I think I've had this game crushing me once, and I've probably put in about, uh, you wouldn't believe it actually for the start that we had breaking my flaps, but um, that, well, there's a big gap there, is that the flaps I've broken? It's supposed to be there. Um, yeah, it took about um, four or five hours, I think, I played on this. Just to get it in the air, it's, um, it's surprisingly very difficult. Um, yeah, this is it. This is this is X-Wing Peeps. Uh, a lot of people have been uh, really looking forward to this and, and, and uh, looking forward to uh, seeing how this plays out. So I, I'm, I'm kind of hoping um, I get better at this and start playing the game how it's supposed to be played. Uh, I know that there's um, you know there's numbers you've got to put in here to get to, you know to taxi and, and speak to different. Air grain, you know, the uh, the towers and things like that. But I'm at a loss, so uh, I, I am really looking for your guys' help. The little city down there. Oh, the weather looks awful, doesn't it? But it's quite realistic. I, I, on one of my uh, my other tests that I've done, uh, I went uh, past Bristol. You can see the Bristol, uh, the Bristol River Seven, and you can see the bridges, the Seven Bridge, and all that. It looked um, looked quite realistic. There's another airport just there. But uh, the good thing is, you got the distance. You've got 40, you know, we're, we know we're at 45 nautical miles, so we're like halfway. Um, the only thing I can't, I struggle with really, is finding the airport. Um, yeah, so you got to really, you got to basically, basically you got to find the airport, um, and it's, it's it's a bit hard. Um, I also took a trip up north, uh, Scot I think I went to Scotland, um, and I was travelling at 2,000, uh, 2000 feet as I am now. Well, some of the uh, mountains in Scotland are higher than 2,000 feet, so I uh, yeah crashed. I should have recorded it really and just like put all the outtakes into one because there was a load of outtakes. Literally when I first started this game up, because there's no tutorial, you, you literally, uh, the opening menu is right, where you're starting from, what plane you're using, press go, and then boom, you're there on the, on, on the, uh, on the runway. Um, yeah, so it's, uh, it's been a huge learning curve really. I'll be trying to watch um, some videos on how to play Explain, and uh, I've been you know, struggling with that as well. There's loads of airplane take today. A bit of chuggering as we're getting near closer to a town, I think. And the good thing is, because you've got to fast forward, you know, as things are getting rendered and, and there's a lot of things like the trees and the roads and and everything else. What it does is it slows down the, um, the you know the speed, so your computer can run everything normally, which I think is a really good, really good feature. You know, there's nothing worse than uh, you know going fast forward and then just crashing because um, your computer can't handle everything. At least you get an indication on how, how well your computer is uh, running everything on max graphics, going this fast, rendering all the uh, terrain and cities and everything else. So let's, uh, let's check our location. We're 30 miles, nautical miles away from our destination. Um, oh, hang on. Centre on aircraft. There we go. Brilliant. Well, we travel quite quite far away. Um, we are near Wickham Air Park. Um, does it show the... It doesn't show the cities, does it? It just shows you... Um, okay, 
so I guess we're near London uh, Denham yeah there's Heathrow and we're going to EC EG EC I think EG LC okay no idea there's LW for London oh heliport uh, LL which is Heathrow LM LD so the machine LC around here somewhere um, that's the EastEnders thing you know Doo -doo. oh London City there we go okay so we're actually uh, we're flying here at the moment hmm It'd be uh, quite interesting to fly into the London City for our first uh, our first foray into this uh, into this amazing game. So I'm really looking forward to hearing your uh, your comments and and your thoughts on, on how I can improve. Uh, like I say, there's going to be a lot of people watching this and basically being nasty. I, I know there there will be the flight sim series just seems to have a whole new crew on their own and uh, you know they're very loyal and very professional. Been the turbulence there. And uh, I get that. I really, really do get that. So um, I'm not being a, you know, a bit, being a noob on purpose. It's just I haven't got no experience with this. So um, I'm looking to learn the best I can. So uh, that's my little mission statement there. In case there are people just there uh, laying comments down. <laughs> oh my God, you suck! Stop playing this game. I'm sorry. I'm just learning. I've been talking about it for ages and I've been promising peeps to put a video up so here it is. And we're coming into uh into London City so we we'll slow down soon. We don't want to miss any of it. The big city right in front of us. We're still twenty two nautical miles away. Uh, is that another airport there? Very looks quite pretty from up here, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. I, don't, I don't know whether you can actually just fly into London like this. <laughs> I think if you didn't actually get onto the comms at all and maybe talk to somebody saying, yeah, I'm just uh, you know, flying to London. I'm sure really, there'd be jet scrambled and all sorts. Uh, I'm just trying to point out all the aircraft. Just trying to get familiar with what, how to spot aircraft in the sky because that's something which uh, another part of this game I'm struggling with. <laughs> but the sat now taking me to the airport. But then if I can't see the actual runway, then I'm uh, I'm snoopering. Yeah, you can see the uh, frames a second drop in as we're uh, getting into the town. So let's take off that. There we go. See the, is that a road or a train line? I'm not sure it's quite another one. Uh, I think that's trains. Well that's the train line. One of these is a train, one of these is a road. I can't really tell. Really now I think there is um, texture packs you can you can actually buy for the X-Plane series. Um, is it orbs? And it gives you a really good layered, really realistic uh, texture pack. But do you know I don't mind looking at this. To be fair, it uh, does what it says on the tin. You know you can see the cities, you can see the, you know lakes, you can see rivers, you can see cars, you can see roads, rail. Pretty much everything. And there should be an airport about 10 miles in front of me. Or 10 nautical miles. Um, yeah, this is going to be fun. So I'll take over. Um, right, about 5 miles out, I think. I'll start my descent. Is that the airport there? 
everyone just panicking. Nine. Right, let's get ready. Oh, do you know, I'm slightly nervous. Can we see the airport? It's like carrying down or something, isn't it? Oh god. Okay, seven nautical miles. I think I've got a bit to go. I think we're near over there. I think that's the strip there, right there. I'm going to take my guess, because uh, from the, uh, the location of the map, yeah, it's right near the water, so I'm kind of hoping it's it's there. Um, there's a lot of water by that airport. Oh, gosh, okay. So we need to be careful not to land in the water <laughs> and actually land on the runway. Um, right, okay. Where are we? We are there. So I, I'm coming in the right approach, I think. Um, could probably do coming out of here a bit more and then straightening up to land. Uh, so I'll uh, I'll give it a few more minutes and then we'll take over and try to land on this in this airport. That's the plan. <laughs> I think I literally just tore the flaps off. I think I was just like, you know, full power. And these flaps are just stuck down, going, oh my god, oh my god. All of a sudden, it's breaking. Okay, there's the airport. All right, let's slow it down, let's slow it down. Uh, location, local map. Let's take off the two speed track. Okay. And then we're going to. Uh, See the details slightly better when you're not speeding along. Right. So let's turn this off. Okay. This is me now controlling the pool. Yeah, as you can see, it's definitely me controlling the plane. Now I want to kind of go this way a little bit. I go a bit quiet because I'm trying to concentrate and not, not killing myself. Oh god, we are a little bit close. Okay, this is going to be the best landing ever. Or the worst. Milli bumps, you're going to hear in a minute, I think. Probably lower my flaps if I had the chance. Oh, lower my flaps and we're going over the sky. Oops. Okay, we're decreasing. I think we're a bit high. I think we're a bit high. I think we're a bit high. Okay, this is it, peeps. This is a. Uh... Oh, we're gonna run out of it. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm aborting. Flaps up. We're gonna make another call. Another. Uh... 
another pass. Okay, that was a bit close, that one. I think I made the right call there. I think it I was coming in a bit of a weird angle. So it should be behind us in the uh, the airport. Probably more dangerous actually because it, there's not a lot. Yeah, I think that's good. I think we're okay. We're okay, peeps. Okay, I'll back the engine right off. I've lowered the flat. Just increases the nose. It slows us down a bit more. Ok, I've dropped the second flap, ok, flaps are dropped, we are literally just gliding in now, so we should be ok, point the nose down, it gives you a bit more speed, right, the wheels are down because they, they, they always stay down, so I don't need to worry about that, we've got milli bumps, we're in a really good position here to do a good landing, ok, so I'm glad I turned around, um, flaps are all the way down now, 100. Just lift the nose up. There we, go. we should be nice and gently just kiss the runway. That's it. Nose up, nose up, nose up, nose up, nose up, nose up. There we go. Landed. Uh, landing was okay. There we go. And that's a compliment in the air hauler. So let's uh, put our flats back up. Uh, I guess we just uh, taxi off the runway and then park up. And this has uh, been uh, a fairly successful. Well, no, it has been a successful trip, apart from ripping the flaps off uh, on takeoff. Um, I didn't actually put the flaps down. I didn't, I didn't think, but uh, I must have pressed the the, flap, the flappy button. So let's uh, come off here and park up somewhere. Um, I have no idea where to go. There doesn't seem to be any planes at this airport at all. Um, I guess we'll just park near the, uh, near the water here. Okay, now to turn this off, I guess I'll just pull this red. And that kind of turns it off. There we go. You have, uh, you have cargo to offload. Please out tab into the air hauler. So, air hauler. Uh, we uh, load or unload, so we unload all our beef. Handling agents accept your cargo, you have completed this job. Yes! The Microsoft Jet JWS engine cannot find the input or query. Re make sure it exits in this name is spelled correctly. Okay. Job completed! You've uh, completed all the current jobs, you have to stop the flight monitoring and return to the job screen. Yes, please. So this is our flight report. Uh, 31 minutes. Um, what do we do? Flight data. Um, Maximum altitude is 2,000. Uh, landing, landing was okay. Okay, no damage. Ah, spot on. So it's uh, fairly successful, I think. Um, yeah. Well, let's take a look at my. Is it damaged? Condition 100%. Okay, so the flap thing. Uh, I'm not sure what that was, but um, but there we go. So uh, I guess we. Uh, 
go to the jobs board again and find a job from um, EGLC uh, do that so the EGLC and look at that there's no EGLC's <laughs> Oh, what a pain. So you might need to follow to the EGLL, pick up some frozen food, and then drop it off to the EGHI, I guess. Oh, from. So we want to go from EGLC. HI. No, nope, there isn't any. Okay. Never mind. Well, we'll look at that in the next episode. But, uh, yeah, this is an uh, air hauler. My name is Stocker Gloss uh, Explains. So please, please, please leave your comments. Uh, let me know what you would like me to do, and I'll, uh, I'll try and get better for you peeps. <laughs> so take care, and ciao for now.